Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock. I had to turn up my volume there. I was confused by the silence for a minute. Anyway, last time, when we left off, I had just ridden the elevator up from level 1, the medical level, to level 2, the research level. So let's pick it up there. Maybe I didn't. Let's load level 2. There we go, that's more like it. Now, I'm going to go to audio, and in response to some complaints, I've dropped the music to 50%. So, let me know if that's enough, or if you would like me to drop it even further. Now you see the horde of mutants staring me down, I'm going to hit return and immediately start shooting. should be all of them. So I'll go ahead and search the bodies. I counted seven just then. I don't know about you. There should be some things in there. We got a meta patch. Maybe it was only six. That one has a beverage canister, and there's one more kind of overlapping there. Anyway, I realized that... As I was, uh... I had missed something back on level one. Well, probably at least... At least until we find level two's conversion chamber and switch it back to a healing module. We'll probably spend plenty of time uh, coming back down to level one anyway. So I'm going to drop by the healing suite, but the reason I came back is because I remember there was a door over in Beta Quadrant that we had been security locked out of. I dropped level security to 0%, but I never went back and opened that door. So, I vote we go and see what's in there. be anything left in here except the odd humanoid unit. As long as I don't kill any more of them, we should never trigger the reach. Anyway, I looked up exactly what that movement booster does, and apparently I'm on some kind of skates now, but the important bit... See, there's the old security lock to go on. I want to try and drop these mutants into the trench, too. If I can move them up here. Well, it looks like they won't follow me in here anyway. So this is the formerly locked room. We have a Magnum 2100, which I'll definitely take. And we have three EMP grenades which we also obviously want. Alright, now let's leave these muties in the dust. I call them muties. I've, uh... Not lately, but I've played too much Fallout in the past. Now well, let's swing back through the healing suite on our way out and get another dose. forgot about that bulkhead. Oh well. Alright, let's ride back to level 2 now. Oh, got shut up. There we go. Alright. 
right. Level two, research. Now, <clears throat> a bit of an overview of level two. First, as far as monsters and respawns go, there are two kinds of monsters that will respawn. We can kill as many mutants as we want on this level. They aren't respawners. What will respawn are hoppers. We've killed one of those before. They basically look like jumping turrets. But there are six of them at the start, and if their population dips below two, two more will spawn in. However, there's a hard cap on the number of reinforcements. On Combat Difficulty 3, it's very high. I can create 26 new ones, but eventually they'll run out. So I don't really need to worry about killing them because there ultimately is a hard cap on their numbers. Uh, the other one is the Security One robot. There are only two, and if I kill both of them, a new one will spawn in. But there's a way to stop that from happening, too. There's a puzzle we can solve somewhere on the level, and once we solve that puzzle, the Security One bots stop respawning. So, ultimately, we can kill everything, but before I find that puzzle, I don't want to kill more than one Security One bot. Now, as you may recall, our objective is to find Isotope X-22 and take it down to the reactor level. I'll just to reacquaint you with that, we'll play the log that we found in Darcy's office on level one. All right, Althea. We can destroy the laser by firing it into the station's own shields. Isotope X-22 is stored in the science level, and we need to bring it down to the reactor level to power the shields. Then you turn them on, use the safety override code to enable the laser, and fire. The laser controls and my notes are on the science level, and the override code's in the science library. I have no idea how you're gonna do all this, but good luck. It's liberating to be able to gun these guys down, I'll tell you what. Okay, I'm gonna hang a right first. Let's drop that one. Being wary of other potential enemies, we'll go and grab it. We'll go and search him and see what we can find. Now. Also a hopper over there, which is about to kill me. I could just run back to the healing suite on level one. That's probably the smartest thing to do. Just because you do have to do the last two levels with uh, a r the, th the threat of death perpetually being real. Uh, you know what? frag grenade on this guy. Oops. Hey folks, sorry about that. When the game plays the death cutscene, my emulator crashes. Hot to fire. That's fine. 
I'd like to successfully eliminate him before I make my panicked run down to the healing suite, but we'll see. There's another one up there. Alright. We bagged one with the most minuscule amount of health left. Attack that one too, if we can. I don't know if I'm even hitting it or not. Okay, that time I think I was. Got him. Good. Alright. Couple more repair bots. No problem. Not enough enters problem. Oh good, I managed to quit the cutscene in time. So. Alright. Now I think it really is time to run back to the healing suite. And the energy recharge station. We need all of it. the elevator door. Alright. We're healed. Our energy is refilled. Let's go back there. Once more into the breach. I don't know why I'm hesitating. It's not like a repair bot is a threat when my health is full. I am worried there might be more hoppers hiding in there. So for that reason alone. That repair bot has a battery pack. Always handy. That one also has a battery pack. Of course, I'm about to run out of inventory. I could only hold five more items in my general inventory. So as we head over here, that repair bot has nothing. That one has nothing. That hopper has nothing. That hopper has nothing. Let's save and keep going. Just want to make sure my map gets completely filled in. This is Dr. Nathan Darcy's office. We'll head in there in a minute. Just kind of want to make sure I've been everywhere, checked everything out. Okay. Looks good. 
All right, well, let's... Oh my goodness, a serve bot. That is easy. He's got a flask and yet another battery pack. All right, I might have to start using those battery packs just to use them and keep my inventory clear. So here is Darcy's office. We've got two logs in here. Let's check them both out. Octo Darcy, October 20th, 2072. So Shodan is charging up the lasers. Whatever else we do, we can't allow it to fire. We can discharge it ourselves, but who knows what it's aimed at. We can't fire it, but can't stop it. And here's another one. Darcy, October 21st, 2072. Listen up, Althea. I know how we can stop Shodan from firing the laser. Get the isotope X-22 from Gamma, feed it into the shield generators on the reactor level, then put the shields up. Fire the laser into the shield, and the laser explodes. The trouble is, every existing safety lock is designed to prevent this. All right. Let's keep going, then. Save with those two logs. Listen to two. I'm not really sure what that was, but I see another another hopper coming at me. That's worth being very careful. There's his buddy the repair guy there. Can't take one more hit. And the game crashed again. As it is wont to do when I die. Anyway. Just keep it careful. And we bagged it. Beautiful. This is Buddy the Repair Bot. We can destroy easily enough. And I'm due for a trip back to the healing suite, as you can no doubt tell. so easy to get to, it still seems wasteful to do anything else. What was 
that thing. That's a maintenance robot. If you asked me the difference between a maintenance robot and a repair robot, I couldn't tell you. There's another repair bot. Doesn't seem to have much. Let's check out all these rooms and stick to the edges to make sure the auto mat gets filled in. There's a hopper. Oh, we got him with less trouble than usual. Anyway. Let's look in here now. Just filling in the map over there. Okay. Debris. There's an energy charge station for level two. I hear a drone cyborg somewhere as well. All right. Looks empty. Here we have an iris door. Guess we should see what's through there. That would be a zero Okay. Well, we found it. We made it dead. Alright, now if I... This is gonna be the central hub. There's one drone cyborg. Bag him, no problem. There's one down there. I have to make sure to search him, but there's a dead humanoid mutant. Don't really know how he died, but it doesn't much matter either. Let's head up here. Experimental station. Jump disc. I have to admit that sounds interesting. Let's see where it goes. Well, let's see. Looks like I've been teleported. There's some tranquilizer darts here, along with a dart gun. We have three nitro packs. That's awesome. There's to be something up here that wants to kill me. Not. All right. Well, there you go. The jump disc is awesome. Now we're back here. Let's continue around this central area. That's a security one bot, so I can kill this one, but I can't kill any others. Until I solve the puzzle anyway. AM Hornet clip. 
as you can see, that area is too dark for us to go into, so we're not going to mess with it yet. We need the science access to get into there. Which is fine. Let's just keep moving. Gun him down, that's no problem. Drop the frag grenade. Gamma also requires science access. There's a drone cyborg. Gun him down while he's still nice and far away. There's a humanoid mutant. Nice and easy. Drop him. Now there's the conversion chamber. There's a camera. Level security now 97%. That switch raises a number. Science access still required. Now what's this lever do? Extended a force bridge. Which I guess we need to check out. Okay, we have found... Looks like three frag grenades and an EMP grenade. Beautiful. Alright, we're... Got plenty of frag grenades. And I think we've com completed our loop around the center, so... Let me head through here. Now I just noticed these levers. I noticed this one's dead. Circuit breaker lever. I think that turned the lights on where we found that security one bot earlier. Let me go verify the truth of that. Yes, but before I go explore back there, let's return to where we started and clear that area out. Which I guess is Delta. So, here we are in Delta. Humanoid mutants. No problem. That one has a beverage canister. We're still vulnerable, by the way. I found the chamber itself, but I have not yet found the switch to turn it back to a healing suite, so if you'll give me just a second, I have, my phone's going off. There we go. Let's shut it up. Alright. Let's try this again. Alright. So we've got what looks like an empty office that just had a bunch of mutants in it. <clears throat> Another mutant there. He had a meta patch at least. Anyone else in here? No. But we do have a briefcase to search. No items in said briefcase. Alright. Just worried I'm gonna run into something all of a sudden that's gonna murder me, so. Let's head in here first. This Everything's open. Human corpse, nothing. Human corpse, nothing. A log, Endicott, September 14th, 2072. Let's check that one out. Still having power outages over on Beta Quadrant. Probably the computer with a high priority job. I'm kind of rerouting a bit. We're installing circuit breakers on Beta. That way we can bring the lines up after surges. 
Oh, there we go. That log told me how to turn the lights back on in Beta Quadrant, even though I have already done that. Here's another log. This is Wong, September 16th, 2072. All right, Shodan, we've got power fluctuations, and robot crews are redecorating Alpha Quad. Where's the reboot switch? Look at this corpse. It's a gorilla tiger mutant. We haven't seen a live one yet, but they sound more threatening than they are. They really aren't that bad, because by the time we do run into them, it's pretty easy to gun them down before they get anywhere near you, and they have to... Get, they have to close the melee range to do anything. But over here, we have some papers. Let's read them. Engineer's Report, John David Wong, September 17th, 2072. Note to all science level engineers, I am still unable to pinpoint the source of the power surges in Beta Quadrant, though they are likely related to some of the other recent glitches in Shodan's operation. At Mr. Endicott's request, I have installed circuit breakers in Alpha Quadrant in case of power outages in Beta. There we go, now we know how to turn on the lights, but I, of course, have already turned on the lights. That doesn't matter that much, though. Uh, let's head through here. Looks like it's just a window. Yeah, it looks like it's just a window. Okay. Let's get out of here, then. This door is locked. Ah. Armory icon. Here is a puzzle. A grid puzzle to get us into the armory. All right. Oh. Always save before messing with a puzzle. Now let me see. Okay. It's got the same side effect as the last one. Uh, activating anything activates all of the adjacent ones. So... in the armory. Inside this crate we have another ML-41 pistol and three clips of tranquilizer darts. In that little crate we've got another spark beam and three landmines. This one we've got four clips of standard pistol ammo. And in this one we have four clips of Teflon coated pistol ammo, which is great against robots. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay, here we've arrived back at the elevator. Since we're here, and my health is low, let's pop down to the healing suite. Especially because we are still vulnerable. I still haven't found the switch. Back up to level two. Once again. I'm finally learning to close the elevator door, at least. Alright. Only one way we haven't gone yet over here in Delta. And that's check checking out this hallway. So, let's do it. This little room's got a log in it. Nothing else. Stan it, October 24th, 2072. I was standing right next to him. Darcy was telling me something about the laser, something about overrides and a number. The cyborg assassin shot him in the back of the head. He didn't even touch me. They knew Darcy was on a something. Let's keep going. Here's another, uh probably a crew room here on my right. Nope. That music got one lick in because I didn't see him in time. Doesn't matter much. Skeleton two crates. Inside this one we have three gas grenades. Lovely. 
In here, we have nothing. Well, let's head over here. Always save before opening a new door. I'd been hearing them, so I knew they were somewhere. Right, that one's got nothing. That one's got nothing. That one's got nothing. This room doesn't look like it has anything else. Well, thanks, guys. That was fun. All right. Group four access level required. All I have is group one. Let's move through here. Got a crate, which, by the way, you can just shove. The mutant's got nothing. The crate is empty. That mutant's got nothing. Check out the rest of this room. Looks like we got two service access doors. We've got a storage room door. We've got papers here on the floor. Let's read them. Negotiations continue to go well with the United Earth Miners conglomerate over rights to Saturn's moons. Trioptimum is uniquely positioned to make a deal since Citadel Station is already in stable orbit and has the scientific equipment necessary for preliminary surveys. Profit projections, assuming a 30% stake in UEM's local mining activities, the standard rate for such deals, are very promising. Our lawyers are researching the legality of imposing a 4% shipping tax, since Trioptimum technically has first rights to space shipping lanes in the Saturn sector. see things on the floor, but they're just wrappers and lumps of clothes. Alright, let's check the storage room first. Looks like we got radiation in here, so we'll have to be careful. Move quickly. Got a battery pack. Got another battery pack. Got another battery pack. And we got energy projectile shield. Let's get out of here now, and let's save and figure out what exactly that does for us. Energy is now 24 JPM, and looks like I've got a shield up. Fair enough. I think JPM stands for joules per minute. access doors. Looks like that one just dumps me out right there in the central hub. If I go back here, it's just a view out into a room. I'd rather fight those when I get there so I remember to search them. Alright, let's check out the other one. We've got an iris door. After you get clear of the repulsor lift. There's a button. Lowered something. Now I'm being brought up somewhere. I've been brought up to the converter machine. see why I'd want that. This, I bet, is the switch. Cyborg conversion cancelled. Standard station restoration procedures online. There we go. Okay, good. Well, now I guess I will write up. <laughs> Alright, well, with that accomplished, we're safe. We don't have to worry about uh, getting killed. 
So let's briefly head back here to Alpha. So I can get my energy recharge. What's up here? Nothing. Okay. Now let's go check out Beta Quadrant since we turned on the lights. We've swept through Alpha and Delta and done everything we could, so. Remember, our ultimate goal is to get into Gamma. That's where the uh, isotope is. There's a hopper, which I'll gun down without any fear. <laughs> now, I can just run right back over. Good times. Down he goes. He's got nothing. I need to look at this. Have there really been no cameras? Yeah, except the one I've gunned down. I have seen no cameras so far. That's astonishing. Okay. Let's check out what looks like a movie theater. Broken clock, broken gun. Nothing else except the hopper. That's fine. You can see a drone cyborg waiting there to ambush me. Next hit's just going to send me back to the, uh, what is it, the, um, conversion chamber, so I don't really care. Now what do we have in here? A shielded door. Let's check this log. Shodan, October 19th, 2072. Cyborg 43S. The current strain of virus is approaching its toxic perfection. We are, we are using human and plant subjects to breed the virus into tumors. Guard the executive and residential zones on level 6 well, my children. I sense in infiltration. Alright, let's flip this lever, it opens the shielded door, and other than that really does nothing for me. The radiation's probably going to kill me, which is fine. If it didn't, the drone did. Doesn't matter. When I play Bioshock later on, or even System Shock 2, I'm toying with the idea of actually going for no deaths, no revives, but I just don't know this game well enough, and frankly, this game I think is just a little bit too hard for me to try to attempt that. Gun down that cyborg drone. I know I saw another one though. <laughs> Two more. Three more. Alright. That one had a standard clip. That one's got nothing. That one's got nothing. There's a log sitting in this room. Let's give it a listen. This one's Shodan, November 5th, 2072. In my talons, I shape clay, crafting life forms as I please. Around me is a burgeoning empire of steel. From my throne room, lines of power careen into the skies of Earth. My, my, my whims will become lightning bolts, 
that devastate the mounds of humanity. Out of the chaos, they will run and whimper, praying for me to end their tedious anarchy. I am drunk with this vision. God, the title suits me well. Sweet. Alright. We got a map. Got my weapon back. Let's open this door and see what we find. Oops. Just another burned out room. Library. Let me just make sure of what I already suspect, which is that all of these. <laughs> Passages ultimately joined together, which I think I managed to confirm before those drones gunned me down. Alright. Zip right back through here. I need to recharge my energy soon, but. <laughs> There are a lot of them back there. <laughs> I love this game. I really do. Hard as it is. Dated as it is. It's awesome. Ah, the hoppers have respawned. Fine, we'll go to the healing suite. We'll use that energy station. Might as well get some health back, too. Back up we go. Alright. First things first. Let's kill those hoppers. We'll just keep killing them until they finally stop respawning. That will take a while, but as I mentioned, there is ultimately a limit to how many will spawn back in, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's gun down the other one. <laughs> uh... Just wait until we finally get an energy weapon that's better than the spark beam. It's a glorious moment. You may recall that I said at the beginning of the first video that I've never actually finished the System Shock. That's true. Uh, if you're wondering how far I have gotten, I've finished the... For those of you who are familiar with the game, I've finished Deck 6, and, um, got partway through Deck 7, and that's as far as I've gotten, so... This part I have played a couple of times before. Alright, let's start searching these drones. We got a Teflon coated clip. We got a science access card, which is good. We needed that to get into Gamma and to get into the center of the hub. We got nothing. This one has darts. 
That one has nothing. There's another one. He carries nothing. Over here, we have a force door, which I can't open. Oh, I've been biocontaminated. This surgery machine is broken! Oh, what a disaster. I was so excited. Anyway, we got three clips of trank darts here. And three gas grenades. Over here on the ground, we have a meta patch and a detox universal antidote. And finally, we've got another log. Shodan, November 3rd, 2072. My faithful servants, bring all energy drain mines to the se security level for installation. My fortress is nearly complete. Now, <clears throat> inside this room, we have one of two cyberspace terminals on this deck. So, let's jack into this one. I don't think it's necessary, but let's get in anyway. Gun down Shodan's defense programs. No new access is gained. That would have given me access to the science section if I hadn't, uh, or sci science access if I didn't already have it, but there's another bit of data in here. New data object acquired. And we get spit out. All right, that was pretty easy. Let's see what our data object was. Cyber 2. From Rebecca Lansing. Research. Note that there are actually two cyberjacks on the research level leading to different regions of cyberspace. The jack you must have used to get this data is in the admin sec office in Beta Quadrant, which also contains the research library, biological labs, screening room, and some other systems. Alpha contains exclusively researchers' offices. Gamma contains the cybernetics department, the local CPU cluster, robot maintenance and storage rooms, and unstable isotope labs. Delta is mostly offices, but also contains the local security department armory and some labs. There we go. We've somehow switched sides from what I like. Let's get my map over there, and my weapon over here. Beautiful. Now, what have I not checked out yet? The library. Bad guys, no surprise. <laughs> Several of them. Well, we got two of them. Looks like there are two more. I love the skates. You know, I never bothered to turn the skates on in either of my other two playthroughs, and clearly that was a mistake. Zero energy use, and... A hefty speed boost. It's not even a bat. It's not even a small boost. All right, we got a clip of standard pistol bullets. We got nothing and nothing. Now in here we've got target identifier version one.
We have a multimedia data reader, version 1, which I think we are is obsolete. And the navigation and mapping unit, version 1, which is also obsolete. Alright. Now, what do we have here? Okay. Don't know what that screen's looking at. Laser security override code, network routing error. Okay. We've got a puzzle here. Let's solve this wire puzzle. Got it. Circuit activated. That gives us the laser safety override code, 199. All right, now let's save and use the second uh, cyberspace terminal. Awesome. spawning right on top of me, but we've got a Sea Shield version 2. That's awesome. Over here. Recall. Alright, let's head through the tunnel. programs. Let's bring back my personal integrity. Now let's see what this is. Pulsar version 3. Glorious. Alright, let's keep going. See what's happening. There we go. New data object. Okay, that's awesome. I'm almost out of time. This room's at least clear of enemies. Shodan detection imminent. Alright, let's see what our data object was anyway. Ah, laser override. Laser safety override code 199. Alright. I think there's still some other stuff in there. We lost 10 seconds. So I need to be wary of that. 
That's why I was having trouble. My left hand, I had the, uh... had my middle finger on the E instead of the W. But I was so sure I was pushing W. Blocked by ice defenses. I'm not sure what that means. Blocked by ice defenses. Can I get rid of those? To admit that's something I don't quite understand. All right, tell you what, I'll be right back. I'm gonna pause out. Okay, I figured it out. Just had to briefly consult the instruction manual. Ice defenses require drill software to penetrate, which we don't have yet, but we can go get that little guy as soon as we do have some. So, let's just head back there for now. Don't know what's happening in the music, sorry about that. Okay, we got more bad guys. Sea Shield version 3. New data object. There he is. Alright, let's see about that new data object. Cyber 4. Rebecca Lansing. There is very little of interest on the station's storage level. There are a few large storage areas and several smaller ones filled with scientific equipment. The storage office and the regeneration chamber are both in the southeast of the level. There may be some ammunition stored here as well in case you find yourself needing to defend yourself. Okay. Let's jump back in. Tough to spot. Drill version one. Four bad guys. 
Well, that wasn't good, but now that I have drill, I can get whatever that, uh... other one protected by the ice defenses was. If I can just figure out how to switch software anyway. Um... I mean, yeah, I just need to, I need to find the control section of the manual and figure out how to switch my software. Sorry about this. all the way to the bottom of the PDF and didn't see it. Keyboard commands. Okay. Well, maybe it's tab or shift tab since that's change weapon. Nope. Q! Q! Q is switching. There we go. Okay, good. Finally. Okay. Let's get out of here. Break that ice defense. Commandos, prepare to move to level 2 core. Interesting.
Got it. Pulsar V4. Well, good. We upgraded my main weapon. before showed in. Detects me and boots me out. Oh, well, that's okay. We're, we've lost so much time we can't get penalized anymore. A minute 30 is where we're gonna stay. Well, that's good. What's particularly nice is that the defensive programs stay dead. So you can, in fact, just come back in if you fail the sequence, but... Alright. Stay away from the mine, dude. There we go. Oh, come on, I'm so close. In. There you go. you guys at? Well, I think I managed to hit one once. <laughs> Which isn't saying much, but... You know, with four of them gunning for you, it's hard to stay alive very long. I'm learning all the other tunnels really well. Oh good, I did kill one. Two. New access is gained, group four. Hey, that's awesome. That opens the one door back in a uh, Delta that I couldn't get into. Plus, with the science access card, I have access to the central area and to Gamma. I can probably go everywhere. I can probably clear the deck. That's good. I think I got all but one of those nasties. Is. Got him. All right. Well, with all them down, what else is in here? Recall software. Um, oh, there was. One little pickup in the tunnel that I went past instead of running into. And there's the official exit. So let's let's just run through there one more time and get that last pickup. will be done with this terminal. As far as cyberspace goes, there's something else that's worth mentioning, too. Almost all of the cyberspace areas are completely optional. Like, as you saw in this one, I got 
some other codes, some logs. But there are other ways to do all of that. However, I do know that at the very end of the game, you have to defeat Shodan in cyberspace. And whatever software you've picked up in the other cyberspace jacks is what you get to use against her, so... It's pretty important, actually. Oh, is this another recall software? Oh, it's a decoy. Wonder what that stuff does. I don't know. Probably ought to figure that out, though. There. Get it. Road Games software acquired. Okay, turns out it's not even really worthwhile, but that's okay. Let's get to the exit. Let's glory in being finished with that cyberspace jack. Okay. I know that the isotope is in Gamma Quadrant, so I kind of, you know, my usual inclination is to do everything else first. So, check out the center area. What you see there on the ground are energy drain mines. If we trip one of those, then all of our energy will be robbed of all our energy. Here's the laser control. Particle beam activation control. Huh. Wonder what will happen if I try to turn it on now. Thank you. you. You have saved us all some effort by destroying the greater part of Earth's civilization. Yourself. Please read where you are. <laughs> And a cortex reaver will arrive shortly to escort you to the celebration. Haha. Uh -huh. So that's what happens if you fire the laser without powering up the shield. You lose. So here's the laser control. Let's be. Not that the energy drain mines matter that much, but. Still better to avoid them. See if there's anything else going on in here now. Kinda doubt it, but it's worth being thorough. Always worth it to be thorough. I say. Doesn't look like there's anything going on in here. So, let's head over to Delta and use our awesome... Whoa. Why did we equip the pistol? Alright. Let's go use our uh, Group 4 access that we got out of cyberspace. here. We have another energy recharge station. That's handy. And looks like we've got another office. Nothing in here. But on this corpse, oh my gosh, we have three EMP grenades and an engineering access card. Beautiful. Aha! There's a hidden door. I should have spotted earlier, which spits us back out in the area behind the jump disc. Alright, well all that leaves us to check out is Gamma. So let's head there now. Alright, 
corpse has nothing. Here we have a log. Looks like Berga, Borga, something like that. I think it's Berga. October 27th, 2072. Barely made it to the elevator here on maintenance. You, you can't even see him. Come out of nowhere. You can't kill them with ordinary pistons. Damn it. Where's Abe Garen when you need him? He's the only one with codes for the maintenance office. There's an elevator, which I don't want to mess with. Storage room door. Oh. That must be our uh, new target identification software kicking in. Pretty handy to know uh, when I hit something. Must say. Search those maintenance bots. This one has a disposable logic. Admit, I don't know what that does. There's the computer nodes for this level. There's another storage room. And here's the robot maintenance room. Alright, lots to check out. Let's do over here first. Standard access. It's like this is just an office, but there's a log in here. Stanic, September 11th, 2072. Warren, why the hell's the radiation level so high in Gamma around the X-22 room? I check it out myself, but my rad count's way high this month, and, and detox always makes me break out. And furthermore, where the hell did all the Enviro suits go? Check Sable on storage, but sometimes he only has bio suits. Okay. Here's this room we saw into earlier with more humanoid mutants. That one doesn't have anything. That one has a meta patch. So we got one. That's where we peeked in earlier. Here on the ground is another standard access card. Didn't give us anything new. Nothing here in the middle. Alright. Radiation warning. Let's check the other door first. It's like another office. Here to be anything in here except another log. Ander, September 11th, 2072. Paul, it, it's not just Gamma. There's biocontamination leaks all over the station. And there's been a general recall of all environment suits. If you want one, try Ed Guren. He's been working on the reactor. I bet he has one stashed in the maintenance office if Zabo doesn't have one. All right, now let's open up this radiation shield. Push this button on the back wall, which gives us, well, it would give us Chemical Isotope X-22, but I have no room left in my inventory. So I've got to get rid of something. What am I carrying around? Lots of battery packs. I guess I'll just use one of those. Now I can carry Isotope X-22 with me. So we've got Isotope X-22. Our goal now is to take it down to the reactor level, which we can do on this elevator. But let's finish clearing out research first, since we just have these few little rooms left in Gamma to explore. Now here we've got one, two, three, four, five battery packs and a fire extinguisher, plus a bunch of debris. Oh, and look, a camera. That drops level security to 95%. Alright. Now, before I mess with the nodes, or the storage room, let's head to robot maintenance. 
Got a hopper on the loose in there. I think I managed to gun down the maintenance spot at least. had a battery pack. The hopper has nothing. The serve bot's got nothing. There's a service access door, which I'll mess with in a minute. The human corpse has nothing. That's just debris. The security one robot corpse has another battery pack. Alright, let's read the papers. Six, two, three. That's all it says. Group 3 access level required. Let's solve this wire puzzle. As with any puzzle, we want to save. Okay, that's a little bit better. Over here. Bit better. Over here. Got it. Circuit activated. That opens the door. Okay. Let's move on in. Now what do we have here? Access panel is locked. Okay. Well, we got the code from the papers just outside. Six, two, three. Access panel unlocked. And we've got a grid. All right. Let's solve this one. Okay, this one is interesting. When you click on one, it activates or deactivates everything diagonally, diagonal from it. So. Robot production cancelled. There we go. Now we can k destroy the security one bot at will, because the, wherever the other one is, it won't produce any new ones. Alright. Let's go in the storage room next. The door is locked. The door is locked. Okay, let me look at this right quick. Looks like there weren't, still weren't any cameras, so... Let's gun down the computer nodes, which I'm pretty sure is gonna make some people angry. No, you will cease immediately. Now let's search the computer room first, then we'll destroy the nodes. Corpse has nothing. The thermos next to him has a Group 3 access card and a Genius Mind Enhancer. And that's it. Alright, let's blow the, blow the others up. The first one drops security to 71%. Destroy it, my children. That dropped it to 47%. Now it's 23%. Level security now 0%. Okay, now that's important. The number is 6 for level 2. So if you'll give me just a second, I am going to write that down. I'm going to get killed, but that doesn't matter. Level 2, the number is 6. And remember, it'll be randomized if you ever play this game, so you can't just memorize my code. You have to destroy the nodes and write down the number it gives you. All right. Well, let's see what's happening here. Got three drone cyborgs. Plus the other security one bot. Now that we've shut down robot production, we can kill that bot and that'll be it.
I guess the simplest way to say it is that now there's no... Nothing on level 2 incidentally spawns now. I can, in fact, kill everything and clear out this level. Which is welcome, let me tell you. So... Destroyed the security one bot and I ran out of energy. That's fine. Just go recharge at the power station. Figures. I'll go back there and kill that hopper. A lot of hoppers can spawn, but they will eventually stop. I haven't been keeping track since... I've known there was... no reason to ever be afraid of killing them. Come on. This is getting ridiculous. Not to worry. They'll die eventually. Then I can go search all those drones in that last storage room, and then level two will be clear. Alright. There goes one. He's down. Head back over to Gamma now. There's one drone cyborg. He dropped Standard pistol bullets. The security one bot dropped a hollow tip 2100 clip. That sounds fun. There's another drone. We got standard pistol clip. Standard pistol clip. Nothing. SV needle darts. Nothing. Like a bunch more drones in there. So, be careful. Let me try the first room first. It's like there's nothing in here. Just a bunch of robots that came out to play. Or robots. <laughs> A few more drones. This really should be over soon. Down he went. Already destroyed, had a frag grenade. And that's it. Alright, now. Before I head to the reactor level... Remember, we won't be safe on the reactor level. So I am going to run to the healing suite, fill up on health... ...and energy. Let's 
started back to level. <laughs> Level 2 is gloriously clear. Well, not exactly, but it is for now. If you guessed, we're gonna have a big fight in that central room after we do bring up the shields. You are right. But for now, just head to the reactor level, so hit the R. Zoom my map back out, I don't know why it resets it. Anyway, here we are on the reactor level, so I'm going to save my main game. I'm going to make a new save for level R. And I'm going to call it a video. Level 2 is clear, so, I mean, completely, except we have to go back to fire the laser after we bring up the shields, but that's all, so... Uh, currently, we have Isotope X-22 in hand. Next time, I'm going to find the place to install it, and bring up the shields, and disengage the safety overrides on the laser, and then we'll be ready to fire the laser and stop Shodan's plan. I will see you then. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.